Did you put your armor on today? I sure did. Hey, did y'all put your armor on today too? If not, I need y'all wear it daily. 365, 247, every day. <laughs> I will do that. Last week, I enjoyed the music playing during Mountaineers Live. Hey, we can go back to those verses to remind us to forgive, to love, to serve, and most importantly, walk in the B-I-C-T, double O-R-Y, the big Tory, man. <laughs> The big Tory. I will be posting those verses in my room so I see them see them daily. Hey, have you ever thought about how important your mind and your feet are to your body? Respond with an answer or say we'll learn about their importance on Mountaineers Live. Speaking of, that's that's about what time it is now. It is time for Mountaineers, Mountaineers Live. <laughs> Let's get it. Because um, when God tells us to move, we move with our feet. Yes, honey. Okay. Give me your name, your grade, and why our mind and our feet are important. Hi, my name is Malachi. And the reason I think my mind and feet are important is because our mind helps us think to what we need and like how to get through school. Absolutely. Like our feet help us do things. Absolutely. We need our mind and our feet because we 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 need our mind to think to tell our feet where we're going to go. Okay. So, let's jump into our affirmation and then we're going to hop right back to our lesson. All right? 2022 is the year of production. We declare that this is the year of production according to John 2022. The gifts God placed in me will develop. I am committed to acknowledging my position as a child of God. Negativity does not live here. I will follow the way of Christ in word, thought, and action. I believe the affirming promises of God. I will accelerate with excellence in every area of my life because I am a world changer. I will obey the word of God and walk into every assigned promotion this year. Thank you, God, for the world-changing production you are doing in me, my family, and my church leadership. All right, Mountaineers, I want you guys to continue to say our revised affirmation every day. Say it before you guys go to school, okay? Say it at night even as a prayer. We wanted to speak positive things into our life. Okay, so we started talking about our mind, right? Talking about our feet. Kind of leading off a little bit from Recharge Reloaded where they were talking about the armor, right? They were talking about, I think they were really, I think it was really a sidebar conversation about comics, but I'm not going to get into that. Okay, so... When we think about our mind, our mind gathers information, right? It stores things and it keeps it. A little bit like a computer, a little bit like your tablets even, if you think about that. Even though we cannot physically touch our mind or our brain, it is very, very, very important. Because I don't think we could really do anything without it. You said so earlier. So if you think about your mind, it's kind of like if we think about a house. If we build a house on a firm foundation, then we know that that house is going to last. But if we build a house, let's say, on top of some Play-Doh or something, that would 
that way. Yeah, it's definitely gonna sink. <laughs> definitely not gonna be good. So it's important that we plant good things in our mind because our mind is our firm foundation, okay? And it allows us to be able to stand up to things when we get knocked down. Like if a storm comes for a house, we want our houses to be able to stand, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the explorer's room and you're gonna see us. And in video, let's talk about how does it feel? So let's shoot her down to the explorer's room. Good morning, Mountaineers. It's me, Miss Lynn, and you know who I've got with me. What is your name, sir? Malachi. What is your name, ma'am? Sierra. Of course. So we're gonna play a game called How Do You Feel? So you know we're talking about guarding our minds, right? So they're gonna hold up a picture that states how they feel when I show them something. Are you ready? And I want you to do it on your face. Either smile, or you can be sad. Or you just have a straight face. Here's the first one. Cotton candy. How does that make you feel? If I tell you that there are some of your friends or some other children that are hurt, how does that make you feel? This is one of my favorites. The cross. If someone is yelling at you, how does that make you feel? I don't know. If you get to have some hot, crispy, yummy fried chicken. Oh yeah, we might get some of that after church today. All right, if you get to play on your tablet. One minute left. If I tell you that you have to go to no. school. Leave this baby alone. Leave this baby alone. How does that make you feel? All right, here's the last one. What if while you're at school, I tell you that you need to take a test? How does that make you feel? Well, boys and girls, I'm sure that you have a whole lot of emotions. So let's go back to the studio and let's talk a little bit more about our feelings. Come on, guys, we gotta get to the studio. Like, going back and forth. Oh my goodness, they gotta keep Ms. Lynn getting her steps in. Okay, so, both of you guys put smiley faces up for the fried chicken. What's up with that? What, how, explain that to me. It's because it's, it's like, you're getting something to eat instead of it just being nothing and you're not having anything. Okay, Miss Sierra, why you have smiley face for the chicken? Cause I like chicken. Cause you like chicken, okay. I, I'm vibing with you. Okay, but when I put up the school, neither one of you had a smiley face for school. What? What's that about? I don't want to go to school. I want to <laughs> stay home. You want to stay home? After you do a lot of work, you get tired of it, and then you get bored. Okay, so they don't want to go to school. So they are enjoying staying home. I don't blame you, though, because the weather is, like, amazing outside. So... We can maybe like sneak away and go to the park or something. Ah, I, I don't know, I don't know, but it's okay. So <laughs> our feelings many times are based off of an experience that we have. So for example, let's say if it rains, then we're feeling pretty bummed because it's raining outside. But we just need to look at it in a different way and not be like, oh, it's raining, I'm bummed, I'm so sad. There's no need for us to be sad. 
Okay, we, we'll, we'll be able to get back outside. That might be a good day to go to school. <laughs> okay, so how do you think you can guard your mind? How do you think? Um, that when I guard my mind so I don't think negative things. Yes, Diva, not thinking negative things. So point number one for us today is to renew it daily, okay? So we're going to go check out our training manual, see what our training manual says in Romans chapter number 12, verse 2. So Malachi, tell us what our training manual says. Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Amazing. So, again, renewing our mind. So, if we go back to the rain, let's think about it. I might be really sad because it's raining outside, right? I can't go out and play, can't go to the park. But if you think about the rain, it makes the flowers grow and it makes our food grow, which we need because clearly y'all like fried chicken. Okay. <laughs> so, renewing our mind will transform our thoughts and it helps us to think about things in a different way. So point number two for us is repeat the way and the word of Christ. So let's see what our training manual has to say in Ephesians chapter number four, verse 22 through 24. Malachi, tell us what it says. Throw off your old sinful nature and former way of life which is corrupted by lust and deception. Instead, let the Spirit renew your thoughts and attitudes. Put on your new nature created to be like God, truly righteous and holy. Mm. Okay. So, do you have a favorite song or movie, Sierra? Encanto. Encanto. What about you? Aladdin. Aladdin. Hmm. I have so many favorite songs. I think right now I'm listening to one called For Your Blessings by Uncle Reese. And I know I can sing, like, all the words to the song. I know y'all know parts to the movie. That's what happens when we watch a movie over and over and over again. Like, I used to watch, what's that, Lion King? And I could sing all the songs, all right? But when we recite the word of God, we start to memorize it, just like we memorize the lyrics from our favorite song or our favorite movie, the lines from our movie. And it allows us to reflect more on the word of God. So we need to practice the word. And we should have that hidden way down in our heart. So our training manual in Colossians chapter number three, verse number two, talks a little bit about that. Sierra, why don't you tell us what it says? Think about the things of heaven, not the things of earth. Ooh, so it's telling us what we should be thinking about. So I'm going to read for you Philippians chapter number four, starting at the eighth verse. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thing. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about the things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Keep putting into practice all you learned and received from me, everything you heard from me and saw me doing. Then the God of peace will be with you. Whew. What do you think are some things that God wants us to think about? Happy thoughts? Yes. Things that please him, mm -hmm. right? We shouldn't be thinking bad things. Things that will help us not focus on negativity, right? So sometimes when we're feeling sad or we might be feeling frustrated and we be like, Ugh! <laughs> right? Sometimes you want to yell or you want to scream, but we need to be mindful of our actions when we are feeling those way, okay? Your feelings are not bad, but we don't want to sin with our feelings, okay? We have to think about things that are honest and lovely and that are pure. We gotta think thoughts that God wants us to have, okay? 
So let's try this cute little game. This is something I want you guys to do. I want y'all to do it out there too. I'm gonna say mind, and I want you to say guard it. You got me? All right, y'all got me? I'm gonna say mind, and I want you to say guard it. Ready? Mind. Guard it. Mind. Guard it. Mind. Guard it. Mind. Guard it. Okay, so when you are feeling really, really frustrated, maybe at a parent or at a teacher or at something, I want you to say, oh, mind, guard it. You have to guard your mind from your thoughts. Okay, so Malachi, how do we guard our minds? By renewing it daily. Absolutely, by renewing it daily. Okay, so we're going to shoot it back down to the Explorer's Room because Dre is down there, and let's go find out what's going on with Dre Says. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is your favorite host back at it. It is Dre, and we're getting ready to play Dre Says. Same rules as Simon Says, except I use my name, because I'm awesome like that. And so is God, of course. But yeah, we're getting ready to play Simon, we're getting ready to play Simon Says. Alrighty. Don't listen to what anybody else got to say. Listen to what I got to say. It's pretty self-explanatory. Alrighty, let's get into it. Dre Says, do five jumping jacks. Alrighty, 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 alrighty. Dre says, stand on one foot. Okay, you can put your foot down. Oh, you're out! Ah, oh, you're out! Dre did not tell you to put your foot down, which means right out the gate, we have a winner. You can actually put your foot down. Ah! <laughs> Got you too. But no. Ah! <laughs> All right, we're gonna play again, just just cause I just feel like playing again. You know, it was just the first round, we're good. Round number two, Alrighty. Dre says, hmm. Hmm. stand on your tippy toes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dre says you can sit, same regularly, you're good. Alrighty, Dre says, do the hokey pokey. Do y'all even know what the hokey pokey is? You put your right foot in, you take your right foot out, put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you play yourself around. That's what it's all about. Alrighty, great job, great job. <laughs> Alrighty, put one hand up. No one? Okay. 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 Dre says, dance. Do a little dance. Okay, y'all can stop the message. Oh, got both of y'all on that one. Oh, one, two, three, y'all are out of here. Alrighty, alrighty, we can do one more round for the complete the trinity. Father, son, okay, yeah, yeah, y'all caught it, y'all caught it. Look at y'all know y'all Bible. Okay, okay, okay. Dre says, hmm, jump. Okay, okay, Dre says y'all can stop, y'all can stop, y'all can stop. Hmm, Dre says, pat your head. Okay, now why don't you tell me if you can? Okay, okay, okay. Y'all look like this one, y'all look like this one. Okay, y'all can stop now. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you say this one, I'll let you say it. Okay, Dre says stop. Stop, stop, stop. Alrighty, I want y'all to give yourself a big hug. Oh, got him, got him, oh, yes sir. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we had a lot of good games. We had, you know, at the end of the day, everybody's a winner. It doesn't matter who wins or lost because when God is on your team, you're always winning. And if you got your armor on, you're definitely winning. So you know what? I'm gonna head back to the studio. I'm gonna see y'all in the studio. It's been Dre, Sierra, Malachi. We out this day. Thanks, Dre. Okay, so you guys had to learn how to do the hokey pokey? Like, y'all didn't know that? I thought, like, 
everybody knew how to do the hoop. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's just in my house. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so how did you guys do at home? Did you guys win round one, two, or three? Did you do what Dre said? Well, I know that sometimes it can be a little challenging when you're having to listen really, really carefully. But that's something that we would use our mind for because our brain helps us listen better, tells our ears what to do. Okay, so our feet have been planted in the word of God and he knows exactly what he wants us to do. So Malachi, tell me how can we plant our feet? By following God's path. Yes! Okay, were well, you reading my notes? <laughs> okay, because that's our next point is that we want to follow the path. Follow the path of righteousness that God has, is leading for us. So in our training manual, Psalms 109 tells us that your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. God's word is our guide and it shows us the path that we are supposed to follow, right? It's our GPS. Okay, so Sierra, before we get to the next point, tell me how can we flee evil? By praying. By praying, absolutely. Prayer is a great way for us to ward off some thoughts that we might have that aren't good because that is truly our next point is to flee evil. So Malachi, we're going to go to our training manual and I want you to tell us what it says in Proverbs, the fourth chapter, starting at the 26th verse. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked keep your feet from following evil. <laughs> oh, basically, boys and girls, we need to be obedient, right? We've got to do what the word of God tells us to do. Just like listening to our parents, listening to our teachers, right? We have to be a leader and not a follower. Sierra, give me an example of being a leader. Um, by being the line leader? Yeah, you could be the line leader at school. Malachi? Give me an example of being a leader. Uh, like doing good things and setting an example. Absolutely. Setting an example. Like you guys are being leaders right now by joining me on Mountaineers Live. So it's important for you to be a leader and not a follower. I want you to set the example. I want you to say nice things. I want you to speak kind words. I want you to have good thoughts. I want you to stand up for what is right, even when your friends or other people might not be, okay? Because we want to be a good representative in the kingdom of God, and we want God to be able to smile down on us. And we want to act like Jesus acts. Y'all remember a long time ago, we used to have these bracelets to say, WWJD, what would Jesus do? And that's something that we have to do. We want to be mindful of the things that we are doing. Mind guarded. So as we build our bodies representing the body of Christ, we need to remember a few things. One, we want to build our hearts so that our mouth produces life. We want to speak positive things. Number two, use your ears your eyes and your hands to honor God as we serve others, right? We want to be doing the right things. And number three, I want you to forgive, to love, to serve, and walk in victory because of Jesus. So even though you may be having a rough day, you might not have done so great on your homework, or maybe you didn't clean your room and you're getting in trouble, don't worry. It's okay to make mistakes. We just have to guard our minds and make sure that we are walking the way that Christ would want us to because you're going to get the victory in the end. Trust and believe that. Huh? So we're going to read this last slide together. I will guard my mind with the thoughts of Christ and plant my feet in God's word. 
So when you are guarding your mind and planting our feet, it will improve our bodies and ensuring that we are in correct alignment with God. Knowing that you are able to handle anything that comes your way, right? Because we know that God is not going to put more on us than we can bear. We're going to control our thoughts, control our hands, and control our feet, okay? I will guard my mind and my thoughts with Christ and plant my feet in God's word. All right, so I'm going to let Miss Sierra pray because it's almost time for us to shoot it over to our affirmation. But before we pray, guys, hold up your weights. Oh, hold up your weights. And as we work out, I want you guys to lift your weights at home. As you work out, just know that you have to guard your mind. Just know that your hand, your eyes, your ears have to do the right thing because we want to be representative of Christ, right? And it's just like a good workout. Sometimes your muscles might get tired. Sometimes they might get sore. Sometimes you might say, why am I have to keep doing the right thing? But it's because it's what God wants us to. And after a while, you'll get stronger and stronger. All right, Miss Sierra, let's pray. Thank you, God, for giving us this day. Thank you, God, for allowing us to do your work and make sure our church family and our other family members stay safe and they come here safely and they don't, nothing wrong happens. Protect everybody and protect the people who are bad to make them good. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Well, Mountaineers, make sure that you like, tag, and that you share, okay? Check us out on all of our social media platforms. You can find us at MCM underscore Chesapeake. That's on our Facebook page and on Twitter, and definitely find us on YouTube. All right, next week, we're going to be talking about planting our feet some more. So make sure that you are joining us for Mount Next Gen. And we'll see you guys next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.